Our top story this half hour, illegal immigration and human smuggling. It isn't just a problem on our border with Mexico. It's also happening in the Caribbean, where Haitian, um, Haitian migrants are trying to reach the U.S. mainland through Puerto Rico. In the past two years, human smuggling cases there have tripled. Miles Doran has the story. No, it's right boat. there. It's a target. A small boat. Flying over the waters west of Puerto Rico, Agent Creighton Skeen of Customs and Border Protection is scanning the invisible border down below. Every one of those red dots is something that's being picked up by the radar. That's correct. I can pick up very small targets, as small as a coconut floating in the water. Only traffic that goes through here is going to be commercial and sailing boats. Anything else, it, it's fair game. Recently, Skeen spotted this boat, called a Yola, racing toward Puerto Rico. On board, two Dominican smugglers and 10 Haitian migrants trying to enter the U.S. illegally. But a Coast Guard cutter stopped them, arresting the smugglers and returning the migrants to Haiti. This scenario is playing out week after week here in the waters between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, called the Mona Passage. The flow of Haitian migrants moving through here has soared from just a dozen in 2011 to nearly 2,000 last year. That's new, and that's something we're trying to target. Captain Mark Fedor is the Coast Guard's chief of response for the Southeast and Caribbean. Smugglers, organized smugglers in the Dominican Republic are advertising their services to, to Haitians and saying, we'll smuggle you through the Dominican Republic, put you on a boat to Puerto Rico or to one of the islands in the Mona Pass, a much shorter journey, and we can get you to the United States that way. And I think people are responding to that. Their journey often ends here. Nicknamed the Galapagos of the Caribbean, Mona Island is uninhabited. Just 22 square miles of desolate, pristine paradise. We are halfway between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, and this is American soil. It's only 40 miles from the Dominican coast, making it an ideal dropping point for smugglers. Coast Guard patrols like this one search the island for fresh landings. On this flight, we spotted several abandoned Yolas along the shore. Smugglers can make it here in as little as two hours, sometimes forcing the migrants to swim to whatever bit of America they can reach. They count on being spotted and rescued by the Coast Guard, then processed by Border Patrol, and in many cases released in Puerto Rico, like Federique Jean. He left Haiti for the same reason many leave, to find a better life. He says that's why he paid $500 to be smuggled over in January. We were afraid, he told me. The boat was rocking and everybody started screaming. Do you know how to swim? No. His gamble so far has paid off. Today he lives in San Juan. Whether he stays is up to the U.S. immigration system. But many Haitian migrants aren't as lucky. Still, they keep trying risking their lives to reach this rock in the middle of the Caribbean, this stepping stone to the United States. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Miles Doran, San Juan.